Hey guys, it's Ali. We're a bit overdue to do a progression video. Things have kind of slowed down a lot here. The days have been a lot shorter with autumn and winter, um, and it's been really cold. There was one night in May that was like minus seven degrees, so we haven't been wanting to do much. I've returned to work full time, and Colin's been focusing on trying to tidy the place up with firewood. Um, so he's been doing a lot of firewood orders, but it's meant that we can tidy up a lot of the dead standings or logs that were on the ground so that we can build our first paddock. But we have had some progression, so I wanted to show you guys. So we didn't end up taking the caravan out, as you can see. Um, we reckon that it will just rip the whole wall out from the house if we do. This is the bedroom that we built for us. So that was a deck from our previous video, I believe. And we built that one in for us. G patch now. So we had a lot sort of going somewhat well. We had a lot of corn in there and we came back from Brisbane one time and it had all been chewed off, we think, by a possum. So we've gone and put like a roof over it and just put mesh everywhere, except because of the size of this mesh here, the robins can still get through. So some stuff is still getting eaten. Uh, we had a lot in the um, seedling trays in the house and then we had some mice. So they were chewing through and ate the seeds. So I'm getting a bit frustrated. A lot of that broccoli and Brussels sprouts was chewed off, but I cut it back to hopefully rescue it and got some more seedlings in there. We've got some sugar snap and snow peas coming up. Um, the pak choy has been going well, but we did have to cover them because like I said, the robins can get in. So they were eating them. Uh, I've still got some strawberries and rhubarb, but it's not going as well as I'd hoped. So hopefully it'll be going <laughs> really, really well for the next video. Also had a quail problem. So we've got no uh, poultry left. So we need to build a chicken, chicken pen for the chooks that's either got like a mesh floor or concrete floor. Um, the gap that we had in the bottom of the chook house was like, it was like this big, it was t oh, like that big, it was tiny. And um, the last time that we had the chickens taken was we came out and the quail was still in there and we chased it out of the chook house. So I couldn't believe that it actually had fit through that gap and I really underestimated what they can fit through. Um, I would like to do a concrete floor because I know that even with that size mesh, apparently they can still get their little paws through and they'll still grab chickens and just kill them. So that's been really, really awful. I'll pop a photo in of what a quoll is because a lot of people don't know what they are. I thought they were super cute, but they are vicious. Like I think I'd rather have foxes around to be honest. Um, and I'll show you the house fence that we've done. Here's the mess. We need to do a dump run, but this is the house yard that we've sort of built for the time being. And uh, we will build a bigger house yard. So where we have been tidying up the firewood is all, all in here. And so that will be a paddock. I think we worked out it's going to be about eight acres. And so we'll do the paddock in there and then one side of that will end up being part of the house yard. And we'll also do the house yard and the dogs will just have a lot more space to run around in. But that's just sort of been a bit of a slow process and we'll probably get goats in there to tidy the place up, which will be good. And then we've also been building this in. So we've got like, I don't know if you can see all the way through, there's a wall there but then we've got these plastic blinds and so we need to build just the edge in here and just get that you can get anchors for these plastic blinds and we're hoping that the air gap between the plastic and the shade cloth will create uh, like an air gap for, to insulate the heat a bit and we've just got this fireplace here from some friends um, and we just need to put the flue on that and get that going and it's just been really really cold so we may end up doing another winter here so we are trying to get it somewhat more comfortable um, we're getting there. It has been a bit slower, like with Kalen being a bit older and whatnot, he obviously takes a lot more time through the day, which is amazing. But we were just getting a lot done when he was sort of having half a dozen naps in a day being a newborn. Hopefully getting this, with me going back to work, we'll get a mortgage and be able to do a lot more fencing and sort of speed the process up and be able to build the big house. But we may end up doing another winter here because it will be a bit slower. We did have some more challenges than expected, like we weren't we weren't expecting the quolls to sort of be as much of a problem here. Um, the veggie patch was obviously has been a bit deflating and I've cried a few tears. And with the shorter days, we have to use the generator a lot for the shipping container. So we were sort of only in summer using the generator for the washing, whereas at the moment we have to use it each night for the showers. And then last week just gone, our generator actually died and it's un under warranty. And so that will get replaced, but we've been borrowing some generators from some friends. And then when they've needed it back or whatever, we've had to return that one and that's fine. Um, so it's sort of had its own challenges, but we're getting there and we're all enjoying it. We're still enjoying it a lot. And 
it's nice to sort of have that sitting around the fire and rugging up and whatnot and having some slower days to really recoup. But yeah, I can't wait for spring and summer to get a lot more done.